recently spent a weekend in one of the fastest growing metro areas in the United States. A city with so many headquarters of banks and other financial institutions that it is the second largest banking center in the U.S. behind only New York City. I am talking about Charlotte, North Carolina. On this visit, we stayed at the Hyatt-centric Charlotte South Park in the upscale neighborhood of South Park, which features high-end shopping and dining. This is our first time staying at a Hyatt-centric. This is Hyatt spin on boutique hotels with local theming that currently has locations in 38 popular destination cities. Here we are entering the lobby. I liked this peacock statue with a bow tie in the lobby. The parking for this hotel is at a parking garage a short walk away. The garage lists a parking fee, but the gates were up and you could enter and exit without paying, which the front desk told us is usually the case except during special events. The hotel also has valet parking for $15 a night. There is more peacock theming in the hallways. And when you get off the elevator, there were paintings of Revolutionary War heroes that saw battle in the Carolinas, with a little bio of them. So that leads us to our room tour. As you enter, there's a bathroom on the left. The sink is just kind of out in the room a bit. It's not really enclosed by any walls. There's a shower, no bathtub. The shower has both a handheld and a rainfall shower head. There are pumps containing body wash, shampoo, and conditioner on the shower wall. And behind this sliding glass door, you will find the necessary. There is a framed picture of a crown in there. Because Charlotte's nickname is the Queen City, I suppose. We did not like this sliding glass door to the toilet. As you can see, generally, what the person on the other side of it is doing. Even worse, when the door is completely closed, there's still an opening wide enough to stick your fingers through. I suppose it isn't a huge deal for us as Alice and I are married, but if I was traveling with a family member or friend who I was a bit less close with, I would want a bit more mystery as to the happenings behind that door. We had a king bed in our room. It was a very comfortable bed and a slightly less comfortable couch along the window. Each side of the bed had a nightstand with some electrical outlets and USB ports to charge your devices, as well as a lamp and a reading light. The room has a single serving coffee maker as well as a safe and a mini fridge. There's a closet that includes a robe, 
some hanging space, as well as an ironing board and an iron. There's a full length mirror. And there's this bench which you can sit on or place your luggage on. It has drawers underneath for those of you who are vacation unpackers. There's also a 55 inch flat panel TV above it. This is the view from our window when we raise the blackout curtain. The hotel has some dining options. First up is Mizu, a seafood and sushi restaurant open for dinner seven days a week starting at 5 p.m. We did not get a chance to eat there, but it has a 4.2 out of five stars on Yelp. We did get to eat at Eero, a brunch spot that is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. We had brunch there one morning. Here is a look at the brunch menu. Jack ordered the milk bread French toast for $12. It comes with maple syrup and a seasonal compote, which when we visited was a blueberry compote. He enjoyed it. Jack got the compote on the side because he wasn't sure he would like it, but he did end up liking it. Usually the dish comes with the compote poured over the French toast. I ordered a caramel latte, which was pretty good. I got the Rise and Shine, which costs $15 and comes with two eggs, bacon, and a biscuit, along with your choice of breakfast potatoes or cheesy grits. I went with the grits. It was all good. This was pretty standard breakfast food, slightly more expensive than could be found elsewhere, and I'm told there are better brunch places nearby. But it was a solid breakfast if you want to remain in your hotel. While Eero closes at 2 p.m., the bar that is connected to it stays open until 10 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday evening. We stopped through late to enjoy some Amaretta Sours, which were great. They have live music here on Wednesday evenings. The hotel also has a fitness room. It has a variety of cardio machines as well as some free weights. Towels, bottles of water, and earbuds are provided. We liked this hotel. It was comfortable and in a good location with some shops and eateries within walking distance. Our room rate was $173 a night plus tax. We got a few dollars off the regular rate because we are members of World of Hyatt, a Hyatt brand loyalty club that is free to join online and which allows you to get discounts and to earn points toward a free stay at a Hyatt hotel. Click the links at the end of our video to see some places we visited in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can see you the next time we're traveling through.